story. Officials in Solano County now looking into allegations of animal abuse. This after two horses died there. And I'm Devin Truby. Our Garth Paul Sanga spoke with people in Vacaville tonight and joins us now with more on that investigation. Yeah, Devin and Luke, we do want to warn the viewers that some of the images may be disturbing to see. Now, authorities are investigating a Solano County horse owner after one of the horses was found dead. Now, the person who reported it hopes more will be done to put a stop to it. You can see the dead horse in the background under the tree. This is what neighbor Becca Hintz saw this week that prompted her to call the Solano County Sheriff's Office Animal Control. It's not much worse than seeing the innocent suffer. Hintz says she was sick to her stomach when she saw the conditions the horses were in on a property along DeMillo Lane in rural Vacaville. They were able to see all the bones that are laying out there from previous horses. There's never been hay in the pasture. They've got some hay in a barn, but I, they haven't been feeding it that I've seen. Hint says animal control responded quickly and found the dead horse covered in vultures. Another horse was alive, but too skinny to stand up. So it was later euthanized. She says other starving horses were removed from the property so it can be brought back to health. It's heartbreaking. You look at the horses out there now and several of them look thin but they have bellies and they have bellies because they're pregnant because that's how you make money on them. She says the owner removed some of the horses and threatened her along the way and adds it's not the first time horses have died on this pasture that is leased out. It's not the first time I've had to watch a horse that died in that pasture get eaten by vultures and coyote. It puts all of our animals at risk because it draws in the predators. We have a mountain lion that's lived in the orchard behind me and it brings all of that in. It puts our pets at risk and if we've got small children, it can put them at risk. It's, it's not okay. It's, it's not how we should treat our animals. Hence hopes this prompt changes to how people take care of animals and increases punishments to those neglecting or abusing them. It's a serious problem in California. We need to give our law enforcement teeth and our DA's teeth. They can only do what the law allows. And the Solano County Sheriff's Office has not released much information about this case beyond confirming that it is under investigation. And we tried reaching out to the people who these horses belong to, but we were not successful. So far, no charges have been filed. Luke. All right, Garnish Ball, thank you. Very disturbing.